when you're talking to it, particularly when you when you first talk to a potential client, how often are you hearing AI come up from them? But, you know, how often are they saying, hey, I, I, we really want to figure out how to use AI in our business? Or are they more just, you know, more, more not even at that point yet? Or how would you describe their interest in AI? Yeah, I think almost everyone is curious about AI and is wondering how they can, you know, immerse it into their organization and how they can leverage some of its benefits. But just kind of like what Nate was saying is, there's levels to being able to fully maximize the AI. And oftentimes when we're working with these small mid-sized businesses and they're coming to us and we're starting to you know, talk through how, how AI might be able to solve some of their problems, it kind of starts with data is the first piece, making sure that their data is clean and it's in a centralized location so that artificial intelligence can leverage that data to really give them the outcomes that they're looking to receive. So lots of times it's, it's kind of going back and really making sure that we can clean up the data first before even really opening that conversation to AI. If you look at something like demand forecasting, you know, of course we'd love to use AI to leverage that, but it, but it starts with the data. You need at least, I mean, let's say a year's worth of data to be able to pull on from the past to then come up with these de demand forecasting reports. So that's just a brief example in the way that, you know, there's foundations and there's levels to building up to that AI point.